So this is day three, Anime Los Angeles 2023 in Long Beach Convention Center. Just like before, we had to wait until 10 for the exhibit hall to open soon. Oh yeah, there's some additional rooms in there too. Again, nothing so far has changed in there except that there were different clothing and everything else. Anime Los Angeles merch that they have right there. Let's just dig deeper and then scroll even further as well. Merch is in clothing right there as well. There's some Pokemon merch right there. So far there's the same book off. You can follow them on Instagram, the shop right there, and some instructions. There's some collectibles to pick up as well. Here's all. Don't forget all the collectibles too for book off. Same from some conventions that I previously vlogged in previous episodes. The one note about this vendor is that this is the same person that I previously challenged in a previous anime convention, which is Anime Riverside. Right there is just an alternative Smash Bros. just by winning for a grand prize. Some pop clothing right there, some decorative helmet, mask, and all, all that. Everything else is the same area that I already toured, so let's move forward for the next section. You know, despite not having my own costume, first stop cosplay is the one that I've attended, but not fully attended. You can buy some collectible manga books and even some anime figures too. I already showcased that from my previous vlog for this convention. This area right there is pretty much unoccupied. There's nothing in particular that they have here. Multiple plushies right there. And this is the first time seeing a payable arcade machine. Where you had to pay $1 for two games. There's a lot of variations to that. They like that. Oh, they have another mystery bags here too from that vendor. I say it's rather difficult to try to tour once I make a tour because I just go into random directions. Inks too. Like, for example, we have invisible ink. Invisible ink? Yeah. <laughs> that requires UV light? Yep. Oh, okay. you can only see it in black light. Uh, is it common to find in this uh, Amazon? You, uh, so what you're going to look for is hand stamp, UV hand stamp ink. Oh, yep. okay. got it. It's because the stuff they, they stamp your hand with at clubs and stuff like that. Got it. These brushes, uh, these four pens, I say... I don't know what there is. Oh, uh, everything you see in the kit for 20 bucks. Oh, okay. awesome. yeah. And if you buy a quill kit along with one of our hand-bound leather journals, I'll throw in a second quill for free. Alright, that's cool. Uh, yeah, that's our combo good. deal. Okay, thanks. Of course! Thanks for stopping by. You too. Alright, see ya. Convention over in Little Tokyo. Yes. Uh, used to advertise ourselves as the pre-game to AX because we had it in June. But fun fact, LA is hot in June, so we wow. moved it to October. Uh, the gimmick at the booth today is uh, we've got a QR code here that brings you to our social media. If you follow social media, um, we'll give you a ribbon, a spin on the prize wheel, but you have to let us tell you about the con and try to get you to show up. Got it. All right. What's up, buddy? So, hey, Will. How's it going, dude? If I preach to fall, the Expo. See you. Then, yep. How you been? Yeah. We've good. got uh, Insta and Facebook on there. Okay. Yeah, I don't have it's Facebook. Oh, well, Insta works. We're pitching yeah. Insta more than okay. Facebook, to be yeah. honest. So if you get, if you, uh, there's a QR code. Yeah, except that I it's already follow. To, uh, hey, that's fine. Social media as well as there our registration. I, I follow. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, yeah. oh, and is if this you, like you another expo? Uh, yeah, yeah, hey, this, this is another expo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A better expo. A better expo. Well, I mean, since we run it, we have to say that. Yeah, 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 of course, of course, of course. I mean, is there a sword fighting tournament at this expo? I don't think so. There is at ours. Okay, yeah, it's pretty convincing. Yeah, like yeah, sports. yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> so you can spin this guy. Cool. Alright. I'll pitch you both at the same time. Yeah, there we not? go. What the? Uh, Where right. did the thing go? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Yeah, it doesn't make noise right now. <laughs> Rodent patcher pin, so that's either of these. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so, um... Let's uh, take a patch. There you go. I'll restart the pitch right, so cool. you know you. the full story. Um, uh, that was a lot of fun. See, Dante's voice actor beat the Virgil DLC before it was announced. 2023. So that, that was a surprise. He didn't tell us that we were going to do that. He was going to do that. He just did it. Um, 
and um, I've explored this role, but didn't go over some of them fully, maybe, but I don't know. This store does remind me of something I see in the swap meet, but I originally tried planning going to swap meet and then do a vlogging video, but I later scraped that project because <laughs> I don't think they're gonna like the videos. So I do recognize this vendor from Anime or Annie Fest 2022. It's from my previous vlog. So I got another free badge just by following their Instagram page. <laughs> the same store again that I did a video already. And there's still some plushies right there of Team Sonic. And it's currently closed until they open at any time. All right, so apparently I bought the second one from the same here <laughs> sketches artist. So I basically got two Amy charms already, one at home and one I'm currently holding. So yeah, I just suddenly remembered that I just paid her via cash for the Amy charm. Well, despite this, I'll still keep it as a collectible. I can only use it as emergency backup because sometimes charms can break easily. This is what happened from one of my collectibles, which I will later do a vlogging episode of my collection. Okay, so this one I never thought about this, but it turns out that I can exchange a charm with something else, like a different Sonic character. So this time I got Sonic charm already. Okay, so right now I just remembered. Tails and Avery charms are all in one of my print bags in my room, so later I will try to showcase it. But Sonic is now a new exchange from the Amy that I got, so that I don't buy duplicates. Let's just move forward here. I already told this same vendor already from my previous part and all that. It's the same role as already been. So yeah, if you're buying a lot of Sonic collectibles from many of the artist vendors, here's a tip. You should always take a picture at home just in case if you cannot remember all the collectibles because usually I store them in one pack and it's, the only problem is that it's very hard to, for me to remember so maybe one day I will try to get something to hang on top and then try to preserve it. Black cherry for you? Yes! And here's a new sample for the third day this time. I'm not sure if we've been around the other sides of the booth today, but we switched out some of our flavors. Yep. Got the That's black cherry right there. Right here. Kaho's guilty pleasure is still going to be on this corner, but on this corner, we yeah. have the whole bunch of These are sample packs. Um, each them obviously are So, what's the strength, by the way? This one's going to be Kaho's guilty pleasure. It's going to be a combination of black tea and passion fruit. Okay, let's give it a shot. Very, very good. These are sticker packs. It'll be the stickers that you see here. Uh, these will be the normal ones. It'll be like a prismatic one, and then a I think I'm starting to feel like I'm gonna like this drink or brand a lot. This one looks like lemonade, but I believe this is actually pina colada. I don't know how to say that. Yeah, this is pina colada. Game of goo. Yeah. Okay. Take it. Yeah. Game of here it comes, without trying to drop it. Sam, taste? Let me know what you think, what is it? Five? It tastes good, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, this uh, itself, uh, if I'm looking at it, it looks like lemonade, but it tastes good. So yeah. Good collab. Thanks. All right, now let's test. This one is melon. Melon? It's a Japanese rock melon. To be specific, it's a cantaloupe and honeydew. Awesome, let's see how this tastes. Amazing, I love it. Yep. Almost every drink that I, I like is very good. So, apparently I didn't check the price before, but I <coughs> they told me the final price array about those items, so... So the bottle itself is around 25 and the drinks flavor is 35 so it just makes it a bit too much money. So maybe not too much to invest. So I'm saving up money. I'll buy it in a later date in some other point, including the shipping cost. So that's pretty much all of that in the vendor's room. So this section is pretty much the artist's alley here, but 
This one is also some other artist sections and other vendors too. Okay, everything else should be good here, so don't have to worry about everything that I need. Well, with all those back backs with me, including the song ones, my back is getting really painful, but not as much here. However, I'm gonna have to find a place to rest here and then take a break for just a few minutes or even hours. Well, <laughs> I just woke up and then found this free gift from Anime Los Angeles Sculpey Chan 2023. It is actually a secret gift. I thought it was someone that lost it, but wow, can't believe it. Found something that is very hidden in plain sight. To whoever who made this, shout out, because <laughs> I'm the first, or maybe sometimes the other person, or one of you, to found a secret gift in pretty much hidden sight. I guess this is my luckiest day here already, so let's continue. I'm back in action. Oh, in just case, this was somewhere below the table, right there, near the couches, to where I was resting here. It's pretty lucky that I found one like this, but pretty amazing. Thanks. Back to where we're at. So, I'm not sure if it's the same spot to look around, but wow. Let's just keep exploring further, even though there's a lot of people that is blocking up the way here. Still, this is a lot harder to find, even after doing the second run to search for any Sonic products. <coughs> oh yeah, just to note that this is the same vendor from a previous convention, which I purchased one of the prints already, for just $7. If I didn't do a Sonic collection figures enough, then I would have purchased an extra one, but this is the same art that I purchased from a previous convention. Some homemade paper art right there. We got some art as well. But <laughs> I guess I already explored this section, even though there's some right there. And also this is the same art that I encountered from a previous convention. But I did purchase that from day one. This anime is going to be very content heavy for this vlog already. So there's so many arts to choose from. And even if I couldn't find some of the sound arts, it's a huge warrior right there. This one is another alternate smash set right there. So, wow. That's, wow. All right, just enough with the artist alley section. Just gonna need to find a food to eat as well. Let's see what food trucks they have. Let's just focus on that too. Going outside now. So here it is. It's everything except that here's a new food truck that just arrived. The waffles. I don't know why I get tired of recording, but I'm just going by just a side tone. But I'm taking a different type of it. Garlic parmesan fries. All right, thank you very much. All right, here's the garlic parmesan fries that I got. So here's just no seating available for me, so I would have to try to sit in this desk right there. Okay, let's see how this tastes. Yes, fork only, unfortunately, but. <laughs> this is pretty good. I love it. Now, let me finish the rest. This food took me forever to finish, but I'm finally done eating. Just only one food for now because I eat too slow. Okay, just uh, suddenly encountered a group of Sonic fans in Sonic so Lost Play. Some of them are DW, some are official Sega. There's a lot of people already. So, you take a picture of all if I can. Lot. Apparently, the swap meat tables are now empty out immediately because I don't see any tables anymore. Just a hangout only. I can't believe I found a cosplay gathering right around this section right there. It's amazing. There's a huge crowd right there. It's a lot. Let's just explore around for more. I guess that could be a bit too much to look around here. So apparently the Arcane May Cafe line is pretty big. 
which is the most insane I've ever seen. Until some other day, I might do a vlogging episode for RK May Cafe in Anifest 2023. So maybe if I have a chance to do it, then I can dine in with, with the maids. So far, yeah, too much to tour around. It's too much to showcase everything. But I guess um, Exhibit Hall should be okay to conclude. But maybe I will review some of them once again, yeah. I just took a break again, just by playing Smash Bros in the e-game room. So the weather environment feels a lot different than what I see, but it's gonna be pretty much doing pretty fine, as long as they get to hang out in this main lobby already. So, all of that. Temporary, I'm back at the exhibit hall. Just gonna make sure I make at least one purchase of the bottle. <laughs> Did you wanna get the fish? I know it's going to cost for it. Let's take a copy of it. This is $25. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, I decided. So, purchased now this new <laughs> waifu cup bottles. Let's just look around for more. It's time. Alright, <laughs> the escalator is now working once again. Upstairs, downstairs. I don't have to use up all my energy to walk upwards. I guess there's a lot of people lining up for some type of a main stage event. Usually I go there every night and even some cases too. All right, so far I found a water station to fill up my water right there, but right now it's almost running out. So staff or someone would have to switch out the water jug. All right, still checking around and there's a food truck that's literally just outside the station right there. In case you guys are wondering, it's just a performance show right there as well. I just came back. There's a huge, massive line that they formed. Oh my god. That's a huge line right there. Why oh, didn't I even record that? Anyways, I'm just gonna try to complete all of the stamps provided until the end of the day. So. The last time I saw it was the one from the exhibit hall, so still search for it. I don't think any of them are upstairs. I don't think any of them are at this current floor. I don't think any of them are at this, this current floor. Probably not. Yeah, I'll, I'll check downstairs. Wait, what? Here. Oh, that? Can I just look that? All right, thank you. All right, I had to keep searching through, so got to get through all these now. Let's keep going. Okay, it looks like I found a Charizard. Ooh. There's only two more to go, so I gotta keep searching for the rest. The Rainbow Lagoon and the Shoreline Bridge is all the way to the south, but I'm gonna exit the building temporarily and then come back. Okay, so I just better keep searching for more. Probably over there. So I guess that's the Shoreline Bridge, which is all the way out there. Well, I guess I haven't explored further deep enough, so <laughs> take a look around. Maybe I can take pictures, take pictures, and then take, again, more pictures. Maybe this camera should help substitute the picture effect. Okay, so <laughs> we're almost there. That looks to me, it's a birdcage thing. And this is a jackpot to hit. There's a large hotel right there with a pool. This other pool with boat rides <laughs> and everything. <laughs> this is a beautiful scenery around here in a shoreline bridge. And here comes the bird cage here. All right, so this is basically the bird cage itself. So bingo, furthest out of this convention. So the rest are pretty much walking around here. Pretty much, yeah, everything. Boats <laughs> near the sea. And then take a picture, take a picture, take a picture, and take a picture. I'm not gonna show these screens, it's gonna be a lazy edit. Sorry. Oh, there's a Ferris wheel right there at night. The night is a beautiful scenery here as well. I love it. There's gonna be one final photo for this on the shoreline bridge. Yeah, which is what I already got. But the last one is the Rainbow Lagoon, which is all the way right there. 
Okay, so this is another line right there. It's pretty crowded for the masquerade. <laughs> Even better, it's pretty much expanded inside this section right there. It looks like you have high up there to see. This door is basically automatic. So pull it, automatically opens. Okay, never seen the inside before, but you can't access the top floor for now. Only the main central hall is this one. This thing's slow on me for some reason because <laughs> my battery's slow and going down the escalator. You can hang out right there all they want. Get free internet, maybe buy something at the market, go eat right there. And you can take the stairs down as well. All of that is just to sit down on the table and everything, including the down, down there. I believe we can access something down there as well. And there's gonna be some few cosplayers that can hang around and then take picture of it. Photo events right there. People are gonna take picture for themselves here. It looks like there's a unique uh, playground, I believe. It's not a playground, it's a mural. <laughs> We're almost there. Just a few more steps to go to the Rainbow Lagoon. Okay, so yeah, they're warning me about this place being locked, so there's no access to it unless if I go to this floor right there. So yeah. Okay, so here it is. This is the Rainbow Lagoon. It's very far from where I'm standing. I should have taken the first floor instead, but this is the best distance to take a picture for this event. So the last thing is to get the picture, except that there's trees in the way. So I can't even get through most of them, unfortunately. So here it comes. Yes, okay, this is actually the final photo for this uh, event. So I think I got all the things completed. All 25, actually 24 because one is a free space, but everything is pretty much amazing. Let me take a final photo out of this and then capture and then take the final photo out of this. Okay, one more to that. So, okay, that's pretty much it. So, hope you guys enjoy this convention. And I got all the photos. In case you might be wondering, yes, I've spent a lot of money to just buy most of the Sonic stuff. Yeah, and food as well, cause, <laughs> I better use it as a lunch money for that bit. Anyways, it's pretty much all I needed. So that's the final photo for the day. I guess I'll turn in all of this by tomorrow. So I'll get the final weekly stamp and get all the remaining stamps finished. Now I'm just gonna head upstairs just to go back and then pass security checkpoint as well. So here it comes. Now this line is pretty crowded here. It's too much cosplayers for the cosplay masquerade. It's too many of them already. So I need an open spot to sit down. It's too many. So that's the event that they're going for. So I just checked the book. This is the masquerade, which starts at 7 p.m. All the way to the end of 10 p.m. So again, this is why have no capability of trying to record for over three hours and, and such. So this camera isn't built for that. And because it runs out of battery quicker, it doesn't mean that I can record for like hours long. So I'll have to record it by parts if I can, but chances are I may, may not do the informal recording or an unedited video series for this cosplay contest. So I will just try to give it a preview only for this. All right, for now the scene's at capacity, so maybe there's no more room for attendees, but it's all right. At least there's still somewhere to look around as well, but perhaps I can go home as early as I want as well, if I wanted to. Yeah, luckily I don't have to time constraint on this whole masquerade event. Not sure if it's popular for a masquerade contest, but it's fine. Alternately, there's other cosplayers inside as well, so I'm not sure if there's any access for attendees. All of the seats are all reserved for cosplayers right there, but this one performs a live show for the main stage, is what the staff said. Only a preview for now, so there's a guy that's singing, so I'm not gonna record all of it. Okay, okay nothing to explore around here as well, so I 
hope you guys enjoy this content for the third day. The tomorrow event will be the last and very short day of this event. So after the short day, the next con that I will be going is Anime Impulse, which I believe it's going to rain at some point in time. So possible. All right. So you guys enjoy it. Please consider following me on other social media platforms on my about page. This is Fog with RTF to be continued. zoomed in that far for no reason but now this is a proper way 